वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग विंडोज इश्यूज इज स्लो स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पीड वेन विंडोज टे फॉर एवर टू बूट योर कंप्यूटर तो हेयर एट वेज टू फिक्स स्लो बूट टाइम्स इन विंडोज टेन यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाई इट ऑन विंडोज इलेवन एज वेल तो द फर्स्ट वन ऑप्शन इज डिसेबल फास्ट स्टार्ट ऑफ while the name sound promising it cause issues for a lot of people thus it is the first settings you should toggle when you have slow boot problem to disable fast startup simply click on the open settings once you go over there simply search here for the power option power and sleep settings okay once you over here just click on the additional power setting Now, once you over there, click on the choose what the power button do. Here you need to disable the turn on fast startup. Highly recommended. In some cases, it works so good. But if you have less RAM, like 4 GB, then you need to disable this option for better performance. Number two, adjust pegging file setting. Now a lot of people are just changing or customizing or optimizing the uh, computer performance through the virtualization memory. At some points, it's worked so good, but for low RAM like 4 GB or 8 GB, it's make your PC a bit slower while booting the Windows operating system. So here's the way you can just simply disable it. Uh, just let the Windows decide best pegging file size for you. Click on the Windows icon, then search here. The sorry, click on File Explorer. Once you open the File Explorer, just right-click on this PC, go into the Properties, and here you need to go into the Advanced System Settings. Now click on the uh, Advanced in Advanced Advanced tab, go into the Performance, and then click on Advanced again, Change, and here as you can see, I just change it according to my uh, preference it's worked super good for me but if in your case if you did if you have already set it up then go back on the automatically manage pegging file size for all drivers so it will give you the best performance one more thing you can do here if you are using ssd then you can set custom size on your ssd drive but uh, it's working fine for me anyways let's move on the power step Turn off the Linux subsystem. Now, Windows 10 offer a full Linux terminal in addition to other shell environment like the classic command prompt. This is exciting for developers, but it might also be the culprit of your boot issues. However, this feature is not turned on by default, so if you don't know what bash is, you likely don't need to try this step, as you would know. If you had turned it on, to turn off the Linux shell, type Windows Features into the Start menu to open the Windows Features on or off. Simply click on the Windows icon. The easiest way is just open the Control Panel. Once you go over here, go into the Categories, View View by Category. And now here you can simply see the Program option, and then turn Windows Features on or off. Now simply here you need to. Find the Windows subsystem for Linux. Just uncheck this and click on OK. Number four, update graphic drivers. Windows 10 is known to mess with drivers. Unfortunately, updating your graphic drivers can sometimes fix boot issues. So you should give that a look next. Click on the File Explorer. Again, this PC Properties, and then Device Manager. Display adapters. Right-click on your graphic drivers, update drivers, and then search automatically for drivers. Now, this is probably here. Probably you will get the best drivers for your device are already installed, but that's not the actual version. You need to update it through the Windows Update. And in case if you are using the Windows 10, um, sorry, if you are using the Nvidia graphic card, then simply you can go over here into the GeForce. Once you launch the GeForce, click on the drivers and check for drivers. Uh, you can update it if it's not number five. Disable some startup programs. Now simply click on the taskbar 
and then go into the task manager now click on the startup applications and click on status downward arrow now just disable all the unnecessary services like I don't use clownfish much and yeah that's it but you can check it out according to your PC one more thing you can do here just click on the windows icon type ms config once you go over here just select it on normal startup so it will give you the best performance uh, just like the fresh windows uh, in my case i'm not gonna with that option because i have installed a lot of services that those are important for my work so that's why uh, on the other hand just click on the boot option click on the advanced number of processors select eight cores and click ok now go into the services hide all microsoft services now here you can disable unnecessary services and then hit apply click ok that's it let's move on the number six run an sfc scan the sfc system file checker command will check your windows installation for corrupted system files and try to replace them with working copies it's worth running this to troubleshoot the startup issues as some windows files responsible for the booting process will be the cause of your slow startup so click on the windows icon type command from and it's more better if you run it by administratorly but it's fine if you don't like the administrator sfc in now and hit enter sfc slash in now it will take time let's move on the uh, next step if all else fails perform a reset if you have tried all the above solutions and still can't speed up your boot time it might be the best to cut your losses and reinstall a fresh copy of windows 10. you have several options for resetting your pc this build is refresh options can reinstall windows without removing any of your files you should still back up your pc data before doing this Click on the setting uh, windows icon then go into the settings then update and security then find here the recovery option then you will see here the reset this pc now you can see if your pc is not running well resetting is might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files or removing them and then reinstall windows just click on it now here you will get the two option keep my files remove everything now if you have some personal data like images, videos, documents etc then you can go with the upper one option otherwise you can go with the lower one option. I am recommending go with the second option that's more better and just make a backup and go with the second option but in case if uh, you don't have any USB or any backup tool then you can go with the upper one. Now here again you will get the two options download and reinstall through the cloud download like online computers or uh, online servers otherwise if you don't have the faster internet then you can go with the local reinstallation and there's more uh, faster and actually it will uh, save your time to so go with the local reinstall. I'm not gonna do further over here now it will say current settings restore app and settings which came uh, with this PC reinstall windows from this device so you can also change up it uh, settings over here but it's on you now you can just go further because my window is working fine for me so I'm not gonna do further step anymore and yeah that's it for today's guys I hope uh, your problem should be fixed or applying all these methods the last thing uh, I'm gonna share here with you the upgrade your storage drive yeah if you run windows from an HDD means hard disk drive you will experience slow performance across the board hard disk drive are created for storing lot of data for a low cost but are too slow to use as your main OS means operating system disk these days if possible on your machine you should look to upgrade to an ssd which will improve your windows performance considerable this does accurately additionally cost per an ssd is a major upgrade you will appreciate mm. 
yeah it will not affect your fps for gamers but it will improve your boot up time loading files start or launching games etc i hope you like this video have a good day bye bye and yeah don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more interesting tutorials and helpful guides bye bye